from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chaw with this 10 News update. The county mandate requiring grocery and pharmacy workers to wear facial coverings is in effect starting today. That order applies to employees who have contact with the public. They must wear facial coverings while working in places such as grocery stores, pharmacies, gas stations, restaurants, and convenience stores. For the general public, it is a recommendation that everyone cover their noses and mouths in some way when out in public doing essential activities, including grocery shopping. Father Joe's Villages has announced their first positive case of COVID-19, a 65-year-old woman. 40 people in their facilities have now been tested. Since the outbreak began, they have screened about 1,000 people, but they've tested far fewer. 25 tests have come back negative. They are still waiting for the results of 14 more. The American Civil Liberties Union is demanding four immigrants be released from the Otay Mesa and Imperial Regional Detention Centers. The ACLU filed a lawsuit on behalf of those immigrants yesterday. Lawyers say the detainees have several medical conditions, including leukemia and lung disease, that put them at higher risk for coronavirus complications. The lawsuit asks the court to order the immediate release of those detainees, who ICE could then monitor to ensure they attend their court hearings. Cars lining up this morning for feeding San Diego's food distribution event today. San Diegans in need of food heading to SDCCU Stadium this morning to pick up some food. That event is a drive through to maintain social distancing. The same distribution event was held last weekend where Mayor Faulkner helped hand out food alongside volunteers. Distribution will continue until all the food is gone. All right, let's get you caught up on the weekend forecast with Melissa Masiha now. Well, it will be pleasant and dry today along the coast. We'll be in the mid-60s by this afternoon, mid to upper 60s in our inland valleys. Enjoy the dry day today before a huge shift in our weather pattern. By Sunday, we can start to see some rain falling. The heavier cells here, the more widespread rain Sunday night into Monday, and then again on Wednesday. Up in the mountains, a cool weekend, snow possible as we get into the next work week. The desert's at 80 degrees for your Saturday, Virginia. Thank you, Mel. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, just go to 10news.com, or you can download our free app from your app store. For 10 News, stay safe, everybody. I'm Virginia Shaw.